Okay, so let's complete the review. Merge request review. So this is with API. Let's see how it goes. This is the API URL. And uh, 11, project 11. 11, okay. Oh. Uh, the API. Okay, so yeah. this is the get list. Oh. And we call it here get list and set the items. And we're getting items. Yeah, so this is good. And this, uh, I haven't created the backend API. So, yeah, so right now, this dummy data is fine. Mm. Okay, so let's go here. <coughs> Sorry. What is it? Let's see another one. This is Nitesh Kumar. So, the gate test. Okay, he's using flat test with that one. Okay. So merge this one. Next is uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this one. Font is small. Let's increase the font. Uh, let's increase the font. This is project 12. Okay, I didn't get the APS. So this is fine. So generally this copy should be deleted. We, we don't keep the copy in the project. Okay. Okay, so I must all the changes. Uh, let's let's pull. Okay, let's change to main branch. Pull it again. So I get all the latest changes. Now I'll create a new branch for the today's work. So what is the today's date? So I didn't create it last time, 22. So let's create another one. Two zero two three zero seven two nine dot txt. Okay. I'll create a new branch. MK July twenty nine. Okay. So today I'll add. Uh, so this project thirteen you have to complete. Uh, once I give you the API, so API is not yet ready, but. Uh, I will make it ready in today or tomorrow. Let's create the project 14 now. Okay. So you can also create a new project protein and attach it to the home and app. Let me know once you're done and do it in your new branch. Take it, uh, do the git pull, git checkout main and maybe I can write down, okay, you can easily do, you do git checkout main, then do git pull, then do git checkout minus p your name maybe, AB, whatever your name is, and July 29, 
and after that create a new folder rec 14 and new file rec 14.js and attach this file to home and app.js and how to attach it everybody knows and if you don't know just watch how I'm doing it so I'll go to home in the home we'll copy the top view and maybe I'll say 14 for the 14 okay so we have to create a new view with project 14 and same thing you have to go in the app.js I have to import project 14 and then I have to add one more line for project 14 so let me know once this step is done then we'll start with the project 14 okay By the time you do, I'll start it and check it in my phone. So this project 14 I didn't copy it, I just created a new project, new file. Then no copy, this is a fresh file. scan this one This is how it looks. I go to project 14 in my mobile. Second, tutor is printer. Okay. Is it done? all the steps which I told you okay Kate is saying done so this is the common thing we do every week we get checkout main, create our branch, and then we work. Okay, in any new project folder. Now, today, what we'll be doing. So, um, before you know, working further, we will be working on the icons. So, we just want to show icons in our project, and for that, we need to uh, use the icons. So generally, the NPM package which we use for the icons is this one. 
create native vector icons. Expo also has different icon library which we will see sometime later. But uh, for now, for now we will see, for now we will see this package only React Native Vector Icons. But uh, there is some another package for Expo which we can explore some other time, not today. Okay, one second. Okay. So generally this package is already installed with the Expo. When we install the Expo project, we have this package already in our node modules folder. But let's say if it's not there, we will install it and think that it's not there. So I will install this package. Yarn add package name. So we will run the command yarn add package name <coughs> and then we will use it. So it's done. Let's start again. So now to use this package, we have to go to one of the website to see see different kinds of icons. So this is the website I put it here. I will give you in the chat also, also in the React uh, Telegram chat also I'll give you. So, so let's go. Okay, let's go to this URL and see what we can see. So these are the different icons available. One is the ant design. Another is ant typo. So whatever icon you use, you can utilize in your project. So there's a lot, lot, large list of icons up there. So whatever icons you like, you can use it. So let's start putting. Let's start putting the, one of the icons. Okay. In this project one. Since I will be adding many lot number of icons so I need to scroll from top to bottom so we need to also add a scroll view let's let's uh, add the scroll view okay and let's consider this as a body. I'll give you some style name. Maybe we'll say styles dot body. I will put put some style for the body. So maybe I'll try first border width. Okay, flex one to cover all. Okay, so flex one will not take this because we have a scroll view. It goes on on. How about if we move the scroll view inside it? Okay, then we are able to get this whole border. And now here I will be adding icons. Okay, let's move the let's keep this like this icons. Okay, so first thing which we will do Let's start the material icons. Where is the material icons? Okay. 
Yeah, these are the material icons. Let's try to implement this one. So here I will say import material icons from. So we have to go to this React Native vector icons and inside React Native vector icons we can use we can use any of this icon type. So let's start with the material icons. Okay, so what I did, I import the material icons. And now, here, I will add the material icon. So in the material icon, I have to give some parameters. What parameter I have to give? So one of them is the name. So what, what icon you want to display? So you can choose any of the, any of the icon name, like battery STD. Okay, so you give the battery STD, then you give the size. What size of icon you want? Let's say 128 is the size you want. And then you want to give some color. What color you want to give? So maybe we can say hash FF00FF, FF, this color you want to give. You can give the style also if you have any style for that, but right now we just want to display this four. Let's see how it looks in in the app. So this is the icon I'm able to see. I can decrease the size of the icon. Then I can get decrease size or I can increase it also. So I'm increasing the icon also. We can also We can also say we can centralize the item by giving some style to this scroll view. So let's give the, some style to this one. Okay, so this align item. Okay, one second. This align item will not work in the scroll view. Part. One second, one second, I'll be back in one second. Okay, so, yeah, so this, uh, because uh, scroll view work uh, in a different way, so let's not put this one, let's put this align item here. Okay, so we have this this was in the center. Let's try to add one more. Okay, so like this, we will be adding many more icons. Okay, I can scroll now. Okay, for, for this sake, uh, for that time being I'm thinking what is the best part okay right now I don't want to do center let's see what happens. yeah let's delete the text view also I don't need to see this one because we want to experiment different icons so I'm just putting so I'm just putting a lot of icons because we will be playing with more some more icons
I'm creating different icons and then I will be replacing with some other icons. So these are my icons. So just try to put one icon like this and uh, let me know when it's done. I'll be back in two minutes, okay? I have some work. Is it done?
okay let's start with uh, adding some more icons so we added the material icon let's try to add uh, some different more icons so I'll start with uh, let's say end design and we'll go to the website to see the end design so the end design has these many icons you can choose any any of the name of this icon and replace with the name here and get this end design here so second is end design name is mayo and this whatever size and color we have okay so if you see second number is change to the uh, mayo icon whatever we have selected okay next start with the let's go next is n typo okay so let's add n typo n typo in n typo we'll see what type of icons we have let's use the finite pixel okay so we have added this finite pixel from the end typo let's go next one next one is evil icons let's add the evil icons so generally we don't go to different different one most of the time you will get all icons in material icon if you don't get then you search for other one right so try to use only one in your one project let's add the evil icons and let's see what are the evil icon type share google let's try to use share google okay let's see okay this is a share google let's see the new one icon now you will icon that is the feather let's start with the feather okay and in feather we will take one of the icons check square maybe this is a check square let's go to add another one so every every part every the topic has a lot of icons most probably you will get all the icons in one topic so no need to add another one they said that font awesome okay Now add a glass for the font awesome. So we added a glass. Okay, let's add few more. I'll not add all the things. I'll add few which are font awesome five. I'm not sure font awesome five will work uh, in one of my play font awesome. <laughs> Want awesome file is to okay, let's, let's try font awesome file. Let's add this one. Yeah, it's working. Font awesome file is working. We added it. Let's add one more. How many more? Let's add two more. Okay, let's see if this is working. Okay, so we don't have brand one. Let's 
let's try to add some different one bread is not available six is available but let's try some other one okay use this one and I need icons okay let's use this one Okay, so let's check. Okay, so we don't have back check sharp for that one. Though it's saying it's there, but I don't see it. Let's try a diff different one. This one is also not there. Let's try this one, be a sharp. Sometimes you don't get it. Yeah, this one is available. Sometimes though it stays in the document, but it's not available. Let's see. Yeah, this one is also available. So, I did this icons. Let me give you in the Telegram chat and just added these are the icons which I did it so these icons are very useful because in many of our apps we just use this icons and this icon addition is very helpful so you should know how to add the icons so this is the easiest way to add the icons we take the icon from one of the react native vector icons and just use the name size and color these three things are needed. You can add a style also, but that is not needed in this case. Any any questions? Okay, no questions. So I gave this part also in the chat and this also in the telegram chat is integrated today I have some work so I have to go early the only thing which we did today is the addition icons and this addition of icons is very important because in most in our all projects we will be adding these icons in all the projects okay let me know any questions till I will commit my changes Sir, yeah. Uh, uh, in project 12, uh, you have uh, uh, explained uh, uh, render item. Yeah. But uh, I cannot understand properly. Uh, mm -hmm. One minute. Render section header. Render render item and render section header. Uh, I I have three row uh, in data. I in data I have three row, and uh, I have console dot log uh, render section is section in uh, render section header. Mm -hmm. So I get uh, three row plus two row again uh, two row. I get uh, five row. Okay, so just. Uh attach your file in the telegram chat I'll look later right now I have some urgent work but uh, I will take a look just put your file in okay. the telegram chat and I will take a look and I'll reply back okay result is uh, proper uh, I get only three rows